Hey, Scorpios, let's get into your messages at this time. Remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. Messages for Scorpios at this time, Spirit. Messages for Scorpios at this time. Hard work. Your hard work to unlock your potential. Hard work to unlock your potential. Things in life won't come easy. Learning the value of hard work. So Scorpio, a lot of you know what hard work truly is, okay? You've had to work hard all your life to get what it is that you want. Get it as, uh, go where it is that you need to get to. Things in life have not come easy for you at all. So you understand what it means to put in the work to reap the rewards, Things don't just get handed to you on a silver platter, Scorpio. A lot of you are, um, this is giving me eight of pentacles energy. So Scorpio, a lot of you have been putting time, dedication, effort into things, really putting in your all. And this has been, put, this has been unlocking your potential for other things. Okay. The more you work, the more you see like, oh, wow, I can do this. I can do that. I'm talented at this. Um, it's interesting. All right. Tell me more about this for Scorpio. Queen of Wands. But you know what, Scorpio? Even though things, things don't come easy for you, you still, I feel like you still keep a very hopeful attitude, very optimistic type of attitude, which is why... Um, All your hard work pays off. You're someone who's very inspirational, very creative. Like you, even if there's a lot of hard work in front of you, you, you get creative and you figure out how to delegate it, how to um, get it done. But I also feel like you're not, I feel like you like to bring some fun into your work, Scorpio. Like you might be the type to put on some music that's blasting while you're working, you know, dancing around. That's the queen of wands energy. <laughs> so I feel like maybe you've come to understand that things in life, you know, won't ever come easy. Maybe, you know, you've, this is something you've, you've come to learn and come to acknowledge and you're like, all right, fuck it. So I'm going to have fun with it. <laughs> Um, I do feel like there's something here on a creative level, a creative spark here, Scorpio, that you may be unlocking. You can have Aries, Leo, uh, Sagittarius in your chart. Now, Scorpio, there could be also, I'm picking up a Queen of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sag, feminine energy, who may be looking at you um, and seeing how hard you work and I don't know. I feel like this is somebody who is kind of inspired by all the hard work that you do and that you put into something. This could be somebody you work with. This could be a boss. I don't feel like it's a boss. I feel like this is just, I don't know, somebody you're definitely inspiring here. I feel like somebody's definitely looking at you and your hard work. And it like, it fires this person up. In a good way, though, it motivates them. Like, your hard work makes people want to go even harder, Scorpio, you know? And I don't think it's like a competitive thing. I don't think it's something here to do with like competition at all. I feel like it's more like, wow, if Scorpio can do it, I can do it too. If Scorpio's, if Scorpio, you know, hasn't had an easy life and, and they can work hard for it and it comes, you know, I can do that too. So, Okay, interesting because yesterday's reading was what owning up to or taking accountability for your actions or whatever is inspiring others. So I feel like you're very much inspiring others at this time through your actions, Scorpio. Your actions, actions speak louder than words. Tell me more about this. Six of Pentacles. Nice. Nice. You may have somebody who wants to come um, support your work here, Scorpio. Mm, okay, okay. Oh, the devil at the bottom, just as I was uh, picking up this message. <sighs> the 
another message, Scorpio. I'm picking up a lot on this Queen of Wands. I feel like this Queen of Wands is, is a lot of different energies here. Um, all inspired by you, though, Scorpio. But this Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles, there could be a fire sign or earth sign or somebody who has fire and earth in their chart. This is somebody who feels like because they're in this Queen of Wands energy, this is somebody who feels like, well, I'm, I'm hot. I'm pretty. So people are just going to give me what I want. That's what I'm, that is the type of attitude. Um, there's, there's, this is another energy I'm picking up with this Queen of Wands. This is either a fire sign or an earth sign, possibly a Capricorn. Okay. With the devil at the bottom. But this is somebody who you thinks that they're good looks and their body is going to get them the financial support that they need or want it's going to give them like it's going to bring them some sort of abundance or money so this is somebody who's like hard work hard work <laughs> i don't need to work hard i'm i'm like people just give me money because i'm pretty like or because i'm hot i'm hot I'm handsome. I'm sexy. I look good. And Scorpio, you've, I feel, I feel like you, while you may be very handsome or beautiful, very attractive yourself, you have put in, like, this is giving me eight of pentacles energy. So you could also be embodying this queen of wands energy where you're very fiery. You're very, um, <clears throat> energetic, but you put in the hard work. You're not afraid to, you know, you're beautiful, but you're not afraid to sweat off your makeup and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you straightened your hair today. That shit might get real frizzy, but you don't care because you're going to put in the hard work into whatever it is that you're doing. This is not somebody who's willing to do that. It's almost like you're inspiring somebody to want to work harder but they're so used to being in an energy of um, people just giving to them. And this could have been like all their life, just things being handed to this person, people always being you know, generous with this person, but it's not because they put any hard work in. It could just be the charm that they exude, you know? Meanwhile, you've been doing here, you've been doing what you're doing for four or five, six years, you know what I mean? I'm also picking up something here where Scorpio, you, you, um, hmm. this could have, this could also be a situation where you've had to work hard all your life. Like things did not, uh, didn't, did not come easy to you. And you may have had, this could even be like a sibling or something where things came very easy for this, for this sibling. All right. Um, things were just always given to this person gifted to this person. They didn't have to get up and go get it. Even though this person has the spirit of an entrepreneur, of a go-getter. It's almost like they've had somebody stifle them or like, is that the word stifle? Is that how you say it? It's like somebody was trying to keep them in an energy of gimme, gimme, gimme. You know, it's could have been a parent who's always giving them, giving, giving, giving things to them without really making this person put in the work towards it. So it's something that they got used to, but you're like inspiring this person to want to work hard. Like, even though they're in this energy of like, oh, people just give me stuff because whatever, 9-11 on the timer, um, they could also be having a bit of a wake up call. Here's what this feels like. And they're being inspired to want to go hard. They don't, it's like they're almost being driven to not, they're cool with people giving them stuff, but they also want to work for what it is that they want and desire. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Anything else here? That's really way too many cards. Anything else here for hard work? Scorpio, you could also be a very generous person as well. I feel like 
oh, the word inspir. I just keep hearing the word inspiration and inspiring. You could be very generous, um, very giving, and this could also, you know, you okay. Scorpio, not only do you work hard, but you're also very generous and charitable. You could donate to charities, um, you know, be charitable with other people, with time, money, resources. And again, this is, there's some, whoever this Queen of Wands is, and I feel like this Queen of Wands is embodying different, it's different people embodying this energy. But there's somebody who's also inspired at the fact that, wow, Scorpio work, not only works really hard, but they're also really charitable with their time, energy, and resources. Like, Scorpio... Just wow. I really like this. You really, really, your actions are, are are speaking way louder here. Look at this. The fool. Yeah, you see, there could have been somebody here who was thinking that they could like fly by their seat or something 11 11 on the timer Aquarius energy that they could just be in this full energy and take risks here and there and you know things are just gonna work out but no Scorpio you could be taking a leap of faith into doing something new as well Into, you may be taking a leap of faith into some sort of something creative here, something you're passionate about. I feel like somebody's turning over a new leaf or, yeah, just like wanting to have a new fresh start in life. <clears throat> also Scorpio with the fool energy school the fool is about adventure and freedom some of you need to go and have an adventure okay go and explore life explore nature go have some fun I don't know go to an amusement park like do something spontaneous I feel like you've been putting in a lot of hard work here Scorpio and it's not going in vain you know you are you are being noticed by people you are inspiring other people whether you know this or not, whether whether you see this or not. This is awesome, but I feel like there's, you know, there's a point in time where you have to say, okay, I've been putting in a lot of work into something, you know, now it's time for me to have some fun. And this has been the energy that's been coming out a lot in these readings, Scorpio, knowing when to let loose, knowing when to go have fun, explore, explore life and get away from the everyday you know mundane things here tell me more about hard work for scorpio king of cups cancer pisces scorpio masculine energy here Hmm. I feel like you're all you 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 very much go with the flow here, Scorpio. You're very in tune with yourself and with your emotions. I feel like you don't let things easily upset you or you don't, you're very patient, very kind. I do, I'm there, there is definitely, okay. Queen of Wands, King of Cups. Scorpio, there, there is somebody who's definitely attracted to you. And uh, they're attracted to how hard you work. How passionate it is that you like Queen of Wands is somebody who's very passionate about what they do. And you could be very passionate about what you do. You can go, you could go super hard at your job. Okay. And you're, I'm telling you, you're being noticed by multiple people. Now there's a King of Cups coming out here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, masculine energy. Could be a water sign. Doesn't have, <clears throat> excuse me, doesn't have to be. But this is somebody who's also noticing you, Scorpio. 
They're noticing you in that fiery energy here. Um, some of you could be sensing that Queen of Wands that I was picking up earlier, the one that like just kind of sits back and hopes that, you know, <clears throat> people are just going to give to them. Um, you could kind of sense, because the King of Cups is somebody who's intuitive. <clears throat> you kind of sense that this person may be trying to hmm, change in some sort of way. Or like turn over a new leaf or something. Hmm. There could be a masculine energy here, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine energy who wants to come in and um, be generous, give you some sort of support. It's like somebody wants to show you that they they care. It's like so this is somebody who's acknowledging your hard work. They want to show you that like they they see you basically. Um Yeah. All right. Tell me a little more about this Queen of Wands. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Hidden blessings. Find the hidden blessings. Find the blessings and the struggles. Grow and expand beyond limitations. Be grateful for all experiences. Yeah, you see, this is somebody who's growing and expanding beyond their limitations. <clears throat> this is why I felt like it could have been, it could have been, <laughs> it could have been even like in their childhood, Six of Cups, that this person, everything was always just handed to this person, given to this person. And it may have limited this person from them seeing <clears throat> what true hard work was because everything was handed to them now somebody's like no you know what i can put in the hard work too and i can do this and i can do that but it's all all because of you scorpio so if this is this could have been somebody who was struggling with tr uh, possibly finding their passion in life Okay, but it's like they're finding the blessings in the struggles now. Like this is somebody who's having a whole new outlook on life. Wow, this is this is beautiful, Scorpio. Some of you may be having a whole new outlook on life as well and finding the blessings in the struggles. Like you again, you may have struggled a lot when it came to work um and getting to the top or, you know, getting to where it is that you are now. You're finding the blessings in the struggles. You're like, "Wow, it took me a long time to get here, but I'm here and, and putting in all the work and the effort was so worth it. You yourself are growing and expanding beyond your own limitations, Scorpio. Every single day, you, you show yourself something new that you can do. I feel like you are very grateful for all of life's experiences because of where you are now. <clears throat> Tell me about this King of Cups. Yeah, you see this Queen of Wands, Scorpio with the Fool here, they could have been, you know, all over the place, a little reckless, a bit of a risk taker, going in the wrong direction. And with this King of Cups, you were just like, you know what, I I have to keep looking forward, you know, I'm <laughs> like, you're in this full energy going in the wrong direction. I can't go that way with you. You know, I got to work. I got responsibilities. I got to pay bills. And this person's just wanted to go out, wanted to have fun. Um, and it's because things were just kind of like handed to this person. This person didn't know the value of hard work. It's like, yeah, I can go out next weekend because blah, 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 blah. And you're like, yeah, no, I can't do that. I gotta, I gotta work or I got kids or I got, you know, I got responsibilities. Tell me about the King of Cups. Newborn soul. Nova, novices of physical existence, lessons, basic life skills, survival, flesh, traits, untamed, childlike, unrefined. Mm. <clears throat> Scorpio, um, for some of you, there is a king of cups here who may be in the beginning stages, like Mm. 
<clears throat> level six consciousness between the world and spiritual realm. Mastered living between both both worlds can resolve conflicts and offer guidance. Okay, okay. So Scorpio, <clears throat> what I'm picking up here is like you are somebody who can help people. Like the fool is that newborn soul, right? So people who are in this newborn soul energy, like this queen of wands, they could have been younger than you or they could have just had a very, just been very young minded, you know, naive. Somebody who didn't, like this is somebody who still needed to learn basic life skills, survival. They could have been very childlike, very untamed. They had no structure in their life. Just going here, going there, doing whatever it is that they want. And not putting, not not knowing the true value of hard work. I feel like this is something you're teaching this person in some shape or form. Whether you are teaching them right now or they're being inspired because they're watching you as you're doing your thing. But there's something here where you're able to help people who are beginners in life. Because you know at one point you are also in this newborn soul. You were also once a novice in, in life. You, you had to learn all the basics here. Learn everything from scratch and build your way up. You're now somebody who's mastered how to be between both worlds, spiritual and physical. You are someone who can offer guidance and resolve help resolve people's conflicts. Because you've mastered your emotions, you've mastered um, your your into your intuition and how you know what I'm saying, Scorpio. Oh my goodness, this is interesting. So. I don't know what to name this reading. I'm just trying to think, Scorpio. It's like your actions are speaking so loud. Like your hard work is speaking for itself. You're you're making people want to expand beyond their own limitations. You already want to expand beyond your own. And now you have people who are in the beginner stages of their life or their journey just wow, Scorpio, you're making people like not afraid to take a leap of faith into the unknown. Very interesting. All right, let's get some advice. For some of you, this is about like, a, a child here your child someone's child um a grandchild like there could be a child here who you're like needing to give direction to teach basic life skills to if this isn't a child and this is somebody who had a lot of childlike tendencies and it's like you've had to teach them the basic things in life maybe somebody either somebody no i don't feel like somebody wasn't there to teach them i feel like they were just not taught basic life skills because people did things for them all the time advice for scorpios all right, we have number 31, El has divine might foretold. You could be 31 years old. Your birthday could be October 31st, November 13th, November 4th. Okay. You know what is correct. You understand that any gain which comes from denying your values and compromising yourself creates a loss of soul. There are times when it may seem as though people who act without integrity are obtaining benefit without adverse repercussions. Life can seem unfair if you limit yourself to a strictly human perspective, yet nothing escapes the attention of the spiritual worlds. Re restorative action and balancing fairness is always in action at a higher level. According to divine timing and wisdom, stay true to your integrity, put your faith in divine justice, and you will win <clears throat> you will win in a way that brings benefit to many. Don't let yourself down with behavior or attitudes that are unworthy of you. You have divinity within you and a right to be in the world with dignity, grace, and integrity. 
whether in a small matter of apparent insignificance to anyone other than yourself, or in big matters where you feel your soul and perhaps the souls of others are on the line, integrity will be your saving grace. You can be kind of heart, but also firm as you refuse to allow anyone or anything to convince you that lowering your standards of acceptable behavior is warranted. Be in right relationship with yourself and the divine. Justice will always be done, whether you see it happening or not. Put your faith in the good and true, and you will successfully continue on your path. Others are relying on you to be true to yourself more than you may realize. You are strong enough to live with honor and self-respect. Wow, Scorpio. It says, El has a, is a Norse rune that brings elk wisdom. This is the sole quality of integrity which places you on the right side of the spiritual laws of the universe. In the Norse tradition, personal luck, grace, power, and the energy and ability to succeed are known as Hamingja. This foracle, this foracle, <laughs> this oracle foretells an increase in your Hamingja and your capacity to impart your spiritual energy to your communities. You will be, you will be in a position of spirit of, oh my gosh. You will be in a position of rising power and influence, which your integrity will help you express wisely. Those who hold spiritual influence will sometimes end up standing apart from others who may demonstrate less inner strength. By refusing to compromise what you know is true, you will be able to uplift those who are ready to go beyond egoic attachment to greed, laziness, and boredom. You can bring about a new understanding that one's standard of living is about more than the personal ownership of possessions. Rather, it is about the inner state of our being and how we choose to live the life we have been given. Your influence is not about encouraging others to make the same choices that you have made for yourself, but to learn to honor their own integrity and make wise decisions for themselves. In this way, you become a spiritual protector and guardian of those in your communities, helping each individual to grow according to their soul journey. Elk urges us to care for and protect each other. We are urged to be firm about what is just and what is not correct, and also to be merciful and have compassion in our heart, for we are human beings who will stumble. If we are courageous enough to pursue a path of justice and truth, the Divine Father, an aspect which elk wisdom expresses through justice, nobility, and integrity, will support and encourage us. The moment we are moved to harshness, even if we, be we believe it is in pursuit of a noble cause, we lose our spiritual footing, compromise our values of mercy and compassion, and undermine our length of leadership. In this advanced spiritual citizenship, we recognize <clears throat> that our empowerment comes from our consciousness. We use our will to uphold that consciousness, not attempt to dominate other, another, but to evoke a quality of soul that inspires others toward taking their own healing actions. Elk wisdom will at some stage bring us into a testing period during which we will feel challenged. We may question or be questioned as to whether we are being realistic or should just adopt the same lower frequency approach as most others seem to. In your heart, however, you know that the moment you do this, you will lose yourself. As we pass through this initiation of elk wisdom, we will get to a place where, without any loss of passion for the healing outcome we desire, we realize that if we are willing to sell our soul to obtain results, then we have lost not one. At this level of internal spiritual integrity, the divine can rely upon you to be a faithful helper in this world for loving higher purpose. You are, a tr you are trustworthy, a true devotee to wisdom. And so the appearance of help El has foretells a successful and visible soul mission for you this lifetime. Scorpio, I love it. If this resonated, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love y'all. Until next time. Bye.